In this video, I'm going to cover simple shapes you can create with the vector shape tools in Tumult High Professional. You can create a simple line by selecting the vector shape tool, clicking once, clicking again, and then hitting escape or done. So this gives you a border option here. You can change the color of it. And you'll notice that you have an option for a fill style. Since there's just two points, there isn't really an available area that will show us that background fill style, but you can add an additional point here to expose it. So now, instead of being a line, it's more of an open shape. So we've got a starting anchor point here and an ending anchor point here. We could either select that ending point and click here to close it, and now we have a closed shape, or you can just click close path here and that completes the shape and gives you a border around the entire thing. Another way to create a line in Hype is to select the pencil tool. You can either select it here or press P and then you just click and drag to create a freeform shape. And this is based on the smoothing options you have here. And you can also optionally create a line draw animation. These features are covered in the pencil tutorial in a later video. So of course, just like any other vector shape, you can modify it after you complete it, and you have access to all of your anchor points. Another way to create a line, this time a straight line, you can press P, hold shift and drag, and this gives you a vertical or a horizontal line. You can also create a polygon. So select from the element option, the polygon, this gives you a five-sided shape and you can easily adjust it to as many sizes as you want. You can even get this up to 99 and it gives you pretty close to a circle. But you can also convert these standard hype elements to vector shapes. So this is a ellipse in the element list, but if you control click on it, you can convert to vector shape. And now you have a vector shape that is as close to a circle as possible and you can of course modify it like a regular vector shape. You can also do this for rounded rectangles and ellipses. So even if you're working with an upgraded document with rectangles and rounded rectangles from Hype 3 or earlier, you can easily convert these into vector shapes. If you have any questions about these shape types, please let us know in the comments below. And don't worry, there's other videos with more advanced topics. Thanks.